Well guys, it's time for another CB750 video. However, not on this CB750. Today, we're breaking down my newest purchase and what my plans are for it. Let's get at it. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Mike Barker. Thank you so, no seriously, thank you so much for tuning in again to another one of these CB750, cafe racer, motorcycle, car, build, whatever these videos are. I really do appreciate it. So listen, yeah, today we're breaking down the purchase, the good, the bad, and quite frankly, the terribly ugly of this new CB750 that I picked up. And now for the Reader's Digest version of the backstory on this motorcycle purchase. So I saw this bike actually listed on a Canada-wide Facebook group and didn't think anything of it. Somebody asked a question, where are you located? And lo and behold, the guy was like 10 minutes from my house. How could I not go look at it? So when I went to look at it, the guy had had it fired up and it was running, I think it was only running on three cylinders at that point. I went over the next day with the pickup truck, went to start the bike, only ran on two cylinders, it was terrible. Thought, ugh, this is, what kind of a headache am I in for here? It's a very interesting bike. The serial number on the frame is for a 75 CV750K. The engine, the serial number, says it's actually for a 1977 CV750K. And as you can notice on the bike, it has the incorrect pipes and the incorrect carburetor setup for a 75 CV750. It's running the PD carbs, which are totally different from the carbs that are on my other motorcycle. And the exhaust, the exhaust has definitely, definitely been replaced. I mean, just look at them. They're the pipes from a 77, 78, uh, with a little bit of um, extra creativity up front where the flanges meet the cylinder head. Somebody tacked on this set of flanges. I'm not exactly sure why I haven't taken it apart yet. It's on the to-do list. Surprisingly, aside from the grime that this bike has collected from sitting for the last four years, there's not a lot in the way of oil leaks. I think there might be a little bit of a leak on the breather cover that's up at the top of the engine, on top of the valve cover. So let's get into some things that are definitely not great about this bike right now. <laughs> this side cover has just disintegrated. It is falling apart. I've gone ahead and lubed up all the mounting points for the side cover, but when I went to try and take this off, it literally disintegrated in my hands. So I've, I've kind of crazy glued it back together temporarily. You can buy reproduction side covers easily for this bike. I don't really have the budget and don't know if I want to get into painting new side covers, buying emblems, both emblems, both the 754 emblem and the Diamond Honda logo. Clearly, this tank has been painted before uh, because that's not factory at all. As you can see here, there's definitely been some fuel leakage over time. It looked like rust at first, but literally scrapes off with your fingernail. So I think it's just dried up old fuel. It's gonna be a little hard to see here, but this is the factory fuel pet cock and it originally for the 69 through 76 bikes, there are two fuel lines that come off this fuel valve. With these PD carbs though, there's only need for one fuel line, so they've capped off one of them. Not a big deal. The bike still starts and runs no problem at all with that done. It came with an engine guard, very nice. Another shot of the engine guard, which has clearly done its job once. Someone's put an aftermarket oil pressure gauge on this engine. Very interesting. This side cover is in a little better shape, but again, missing its emblems. It's kind of a bummer. I will say though, one thing, this rear fender is beautiful. You guys saw what I had to do on the, uh, on the green bastard over there was chop up the rear fender because it had obviously been pushed in at some point. This one though, wow, what a beauty. Uh, the front fender is a little less of a love story though. It's definitely, uh, Seen better days, it's got a, a bit of a kink right across here, a few little dimples and things, and I think it's probably rusting through from the bottom, especially in the back. Another interesting little detail, check out these gauges. Now, if you're an expert on CB750s, you're gonna note something is not quite right here for a 75. Namely, this tachometer goes to, mm, we'll say 12,000 RPMs, but the red line range is between 9,250 and 10,000 some odd. 
That is higher than normal. I believe this is for a CB750 Supersport. Comment below if you agree with me or you happen to know what this might be from. Also has this lovely fancy road chrome windshield. Very great for highway cruising if that's what you're into. The seat doesn't look too, too bad from here, but unfortunately when you open it up, it's seen better days. I'm pretty confident that I could clean it up quite a bit, but some of it is uh, getting really nasty. This battery, don't know how old it is, still works though. When I got it home, I also took a quick look at the sprockets front and rear, as well as the chain. Everything looks pretty damn good there too. And it needed some new spark plugs. These are, for all you CB750 guys out there, these are the X24 ES-U4099 spark plugs from Nippon Denso. Ready? Intense spark plug unboxing in three, two, one. Isn't that what they do when they like peel the plastic off of smartphones? So good. Ooh, yes, look at the beauty. Now, these plugs need to be gapped 24 to 28 thousandths of an inch. These things are the cat's meow. On my other CB750K, I had a set of the NGK D8EA spark plugs, and they always just kind of ran a little, it, they, they didn't burn the fuel quite as well as I'd hoped they would. They were always a little sooty looking on the plugs. Anyway, swapped them out for these things, and a whack of headache went away. I, I am a fan. Uh, may not be for everybody, depending on your geographical location, your altitude, all that good stuff, but for me, relatively at sea level here in Nova Scotia, these are the ticket. I buy these from Rock Auto, and before you jump down my neck about not buying local, um, I can't actually get these local anywhere in Nova Scotia. So I tried them out on Rock Auto. They work great. Who doesn't like Rock Auto? Well, I suppose someone who has a really bad sales experience probably doesn't like them, but that hasn't been me so far. Good job, Rock Auto. Uh, something else that I did was went and bought some new spark plug caps because the ones that are on the bike, um, the boots are all torn. It's 40 bucks, it's cheap insurance to make sure your, your electronics are working really well. There you go, that's the breakdown of the newest purchase. So I've got a fun name for this project though. Note the color of the motorcycle. My friend Barry over in Prince Edward Island came up with this one. This is Project Ron Burgundy. Oh yes, stay classy San Diego. Anyway, what are my plans for this? Well, I'm gonna go through and do a whole tune up on this bike, valve adjustment, timing, cam chain tensioner, just a lot of your basic tune up stuff. And I'm gonna detail that, well, I'm gonna detail the breakdown of all that in the next video. As far as long-term plans though, I might not hold on to this bike. I love bringing stuff like this back to life, but honestly, I've got another bike already that's still not really complete in my eyes. And I really just don't have time to ride two motorcycles. I only have enough time to ride one and I don't get away with that often enough. So yeah, this might be an experiment in just what's needed to bring a bike back to life, get it safety inspected, get it on the road and then move it on. We'll see though. You know what, part of me thinks, engine numbers don't match the frame. This is a perfect candidate if somebody wanted to chop it up. Sorry, Honda Purist. Anyway though, guys, thanks again for tuning in. I had a blast with this video and I'm hoping that you guys are interested in this next project. If you're enjoying these videos, hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the bell for the notifications. And guys, see you in the next project video. This is just getting started.